How are you guys doing? Welcome back. Today is February 17th, 2022. It's a beautiful day in Athens, Georgia. I hope it's a beautiful day wherever you are, what time it is, what day it is. I hope you're having a very good day. Welcome back to the channel. My name's Evan, aka John Stonkton. Pulls up three pointer. Bang! Bang! AKA Chef Boyar Swing. Hey, hey Mambo. Mambo Italia. AKA Bruce Wingstein. All those clipped together beautifully. This is by the Bulls, the only trading channel website to come. Guy with piercings and tattoos who screams at you, who encourages you to learn how to trade by yourself, advocate for yourself, watch my videos, eventually leave me and have a good rest of your guys' week, year, month, whatever it is. I want you guys to take your trading just raw by the Bulls. Let's get it, my boy. If you are brand new to my channel, which is great, welcome, 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 glad to have you. I have a 25 part course, it's done. If you wanna go check that out, it's on my YouTube page. I'm sure you can scroll down and find that. Click that, check it out, it's my main playlist. With that as well, as I also have 25 extra lessons for you on my Patreon and my community. With the extra lessons, you're gonna get guided notes, which I'm making for every lesson, five morning newsletters, five nightly newsletters, the picks early, alert systems, all this kind of great stuff. Go check it out in the description box down below if you truly enjoy what I do. If you want to support what I do, if you want to really help someone who's trying to help others in the process, go check out the Patreon. If you don't have any interest in that, that's fine. Watch the video. I'm here for you no matter what. That's what a real one does and I got you. I cannot compete with the larger channels. I just broke 7,700 subs. Oh, thank you so much. But I would encourage you, nay, ask you, nay, demand you, not really, to subscribe, like, and comment down below to encourage you i'm going to give you five horrible seconds of awkward con awkward eye contact i have five seconds of this scroll off my big dumb face which it is and then scroll down just a little bit hit that like button hit that subscribe button and then you know leave me a little comment with that being said let's do this prolonged eye contact Thanks. So hopefully you guys did that. If not, it's no big deal. Today, I have eight great picks for you. Some are bullish, some are neutral. All these look really good for the market. Of course, the market sold off today. It's down 2%. If you want to know what I'm doing in my portfolio, check out my Twitter or, of course, join the Patreon. I'm fully transparent about these kinds of things. I was down 0.4% today. Not too bad given the market itself. With that being said, eight great picks today. Let's go to the technical analysis, the supports, resistances, trend lines, patterns, email lines, volume profile, RSI, stochastic, and the vortex indicator. The 10th thing being love. Let's do this, boys. Let's go. So first is AMP. I've played AMP before. It's been a really nice uptrend doing it, seeing greatly, and it just keeps on going. Great earnings, a fine dividend. I'm not really concerned about those things. I'm more concerned about this nice uptrend. Now, of course, you could consider this possibly a channel up. It looks really good nonetheless, but we're getting to a great value. Dividends always lead to sell-offs as folks take their profits and get out. But this is a really nice trend line. You have one, two, three, four, five, six solid hits. I point that out because any one of you idiots, any one of me idiots, can draw a trend line from A to B. That's not impressive, but this has six solid hits. That's much better, much more consistent. This lends us to have good risk versus reward management, and that's what trading in a choppy market comes down to, is risk management. If you can manage your risk, the markets will get bullish again, and you'll have printing, printing, printing. But if you can manage risk and beat the market by just a bit, in a bear market, you're doing just fine. AMP show us, us, shows us that with great trend, a great support, plenty of gaps around it, showing that this is a very pinnacle spot. You could easily risk one, 2% at most here to make hopefully about four and a good move would be closer to eight to 10, a nice four to one, five to one kind of play here. Overall, very bullish, very consistent. And again, my favorite thing is that the risk is very easy to spot and you know when to cut. And for most people, that's a huge deal. Also a gap here, gaps like to be filled. It is what it is. Let's check our indicators. What's so cool about this channel, besides me in my six studio and my cool cat that's over there right now, he looks kind of grumpy, he hasn't been fed today. So he'll be back when he is not being grumpy. What's cool about indicators, back on topic, is that indicators show us four things. Momentum, trend, volume, and volatility. These four things help us do multiple things. Enter a stock, exit a stock, plan a trade, and then trade that plan. It helps us do all these kinds of great things with consistency. But 
The technical analysis is the cake. Num, num, num. Indicators are just going to be the icing. Ooh, strawberry. So whatever it is, if you want to rely on indicators, that's great, but they should not be your focus. The technical analysis should be indicators are just there to help us show clarity in this market. With that being said, if you are a brand new trader, it's okay to rely on these more than me, but you'll see live what a veteran sees and goes through them with you. With that being said, take my hand and let's go. So what's great with the 200 EMA line here is that it's a great support and it's great when you cross over it. For me with AMP, you have two options. You have, actually for all these plays, you have two options. There's two ways for a beginner to enter a stock. Value, and that's like when you go to Walmart and it goes $10 bin and you go buy a DVD, you can get it on Netflix for free. I don't know why they even have DVDs anymore. Besides the point. But if you want to go and buy a stock because it's a good value, you enter because of the price. That's the first way. The second is momentum. You cross an EMA line, the vortex crosses, the stochastic turns north. Something shows you momentum is picking up and you buy into the momentum. What's good here is they can do either. I think AMP here, about a percent lower or 2% lower is a value purchase. AMP about a percent higher or 2% higher, crossing the 200 or the 10 EMA line is momentum. So it comes out of your planning. And of course you should always plan a trade and then trade the plan. If you want to be patient, good. Because right here, you have to wait for a patient move down to one to 296 or a patient move over 301. You choose. Right here though, RSI, it's low. It's a good value. The stochastic is fair. There's no bearish divergence, no bullish divergence. It's just a fair value. The ones is probably a bit lower. And then bulls are right where you want them. See my cursor, how it left its right where you want it and bears are super high, that shows value. AMP to me makes more sense as a value purchase. I think that tomorrow is gonna to continue to be red. It may come down just a bit more, and then AMP falls right where you want it. And of course, Monday there's no trading, so I think tomorrow buying a bunch of stuff is fairly illogical given the Russian situation at the moment. But AMP a bit lower or a bit higher is a fantastic purchase. No matter what though, AMP is a great watch list item. I would definitely watch list it and check it out later. I love what I see. Next is EVRG, EverG Inc. That's a nice name, household name, obviously, just kidding. What we lack in convergence, Evan, what's convergence? Convergence is when a lot of technical stuff comes together, supports there, a trend line's there, the volume profile, POC's pulling us higher, a great pattern, all these kinds of things is known as convergence. I want to yeehaw, rope in as many different technical traders and fundamental traders into a good setup who see multiple different things. They see support, whatever trend. I want to get all those in one spot. What we lack in that for this play is simplicity. EVRG here, if it does break this white line, you just get out. If it bounces here, you get in and hold to whenever your target is. So what we lack in convergence, we make up in absolute simplicity. $60, right, on the dot. It's five o'clock, I need me a crack rock in my drop top. Shout out to Usher, I miss you. This is a really good looking support play anywhere in this area. You can risk one or 2%, a move to the bottom profile line is five and a half, that's like a five to one. A good move is seven to one here. If you can get just a bit lower, at 60, 50, you're risking almost nothing, have less than a percent to make about four or five. It's a great horizontal channel play. I just wanna see some life first. I'm not rushing in here. I'm sure earnings is coming. This may be an earnings overreaction. And look at the reversal times. It takes its time. It takes its time. It takes its time to reverse, right? This row over here still took four days. We've been settled here for two days. I'm not rushing in, but EVRG here is a great watch list item to see what it does this week. For our indicators, a 10 cross is beautiful. Oh, we cross the 10, big move. Cross the 10, big move. Cross the 10, fake outs, big moves. What's the difference between these moves and this move? Is that we're under the 50 EMA line over here, and then we're over the 50 EMA line. So 10 EMA lines or crosses are fine, but under the 50, you're gonna have much less success. Like that's a stop there, that's a stop there. This is what I'm talking about. So below the 50 EMA line, it's not the greatest, but waiting for a percent for that is fine. I wouldn't wait for a 50 cross, it's too far away and that's okay. I would say we're in, let's say a good value purchase, not a momentum purchase, R side's low, that's value, sarcastic is low, that's value. It's a small bullish divergence, don't get this twisted. Right, you can see lower lows on the price action and then a nice little baby higher low. So I mean it's there, but it's nothing crazy. But then bulls are bottoming out, bears are on top. EVRG is a great value purchase. Now of course if it muddles around, which I expect it to do, maybe takes a week or two here, and that 50 email line dips and gets close to it, then we can play a 50 cross. But for here, if you do your due diligence, your fundamentals, and it all checks out, it's a good purchase for value. 
EVRG here is a great purchase. I would definitely check it out. I do love what I see for watch set. Looks pretty good. I'm not gonna harp on LEN. I could sit here all day and spout out again. It's just a simple support play and that's exactly what it is. What I do see as well is a nice resistance trend forming and we're seeing some nice little lower lows and higher lows here as we kind of form a new support down here. Anywhere in the $89 range is a good support. The risk here is minimal. Let's say tomorrow it drops a percent or two. You can risk it, see how it goes. But right here, you're seeing a 7%, 10% move, risking about 1% or 2%. It's not bad. My only concern is that you may be seeing $87 for our next major support down here. At that point, it's fine. My main concern with this play is that you're going to buy in in the morning and then it's going to keep dipping and then you're under the PDT rule and you have to use a day trade to get out of it. I myself would wait for LEN until 3 o'clock, 3.30 tomorrow or Tuesday. That way you can let it marinate, do its thing. If I'm a bit late, I'll take that for the risk management aspect and that's just my own personal opinion. When it comes to our indicators, 10 crosses are fine. I think a 10 cross here is a healthy idea. You cross the 10, you have nice big moves. You cross the 50, you have even better moves. I think waiting for a 10 cross is two or 3%. That's fine given the lack of convergence in my opinion. Could you buy off of value? Well, sure, you're at 37, that's fine. Just a bit lower gets us to 30. Uh, Stochastic is forming a nice bullish divergence. If it turns around soon, keyword if, right? So you gotta see a turnaround soon if so, that'll form a bullish divergence. And then bulls are low for value, bears are high, showing that bears are getting exhausted from selling. LEN here makes a whole lot of sense. I do like what I see, but just like with my other plays, I think tomorrow being Friday of a three-day weekend with the Russia issue, with inflation, I myself would probably wait till Tuesday. But I want to make this plays known and I want to just be transparent. LEN, I do love what I see. I'd watch this tip. I would just pump the brakes. Uno momento until Tuesday. Next is MGY, probably our best uptrend. It's the most similar play to tractor supply company which i bought yesterday and i talked about it's very similar looking to that which i do enjoy uh, a nice bullish setup in these kinds of markets it has nice higher lows consistent higher highs old resistance area became a resistance area became a resistance area is now becoming a nice support area i think on an earnings call this is getting close to gambling with these kinds of markets i wouldn't go in here again i think tuesday or wednesday or thursday next week Give it some time for earnings to settle, makes a whole lot more sense. But you can see it's four or 5% lower, which would be fantastic, honestly. Anywhere near 20 bucks, risking three or 4%. A full move is close to 20%. It looks really good. Great uptrend, it's showing life. I mean, the support is a bit a bit lost. I mean, it's lots of support, that's a resistance. It's a bit choppy. You may see it's closer to probably 19 bucks if things get bad, keep that in mind. When it comes to our indicators, the 50 cross is what I wanted to watch for tomorrow. We're testing the 200. If we hold this tomorrow and go long over the 50, that's a fine purchase in my opinion. Let's just say tomorrow looks like this. Nice move here. You can then use your 50 EMA line as your stop loss. You can use the bottom of this candle as a stop loss. You can use this area as a stop loss. What I'm getting at is no matter what you do here, you have to have risk management. If you don't have that, you're gonna have a very bad time. MGY looks good for those crossovers and the support. It's fair, it's fair, it's fair. What do I mean with that? All the value is, it's a fair move because it's going sideways. The indicators show it's a fair value. With that being said, a momentum play makes sense. A value play just a bit lower also makes sense. Again, what's the key here? Patience. I think tomorrow, and it's not accident, all these plays I picked out. It's not an accident that all these kind of have a hint of patience baked in. I think tomorrow's a great sidelines day. Unless it goes crazy, then I may be wrong. But MGY here, it looks great. I would just give it a day or two myself. Next is MSM. My parents actually have an MSN account on their emails. Not M, but MSN. That's wild. I can't believe this will have that. Uh, they watch these episodes together religiously. Uh, they're going to call me and yell me later. That's fine. MSM here is a gorgeous looking smaller, again, smaller, higher lows. All right, they're, they're tiny. I've heard that before. Womp, womp. And then what's great about that is the support play is very much alive at $77.99 at $70. I do want this 2% lower. Give me below the bottom profile line. Anywhere down here is a great value. It's important to note we do have lower highs. This could form a descending triangle if it breaks down. Boy, golly, gee, Willikers, it's going to get rough because this area has very little volume. 
Folks don't want to do action here for whatever reason. If it drops, it's gonna drop like a rock. You have to have a stop loss. But right here, anywhere just a bit lower is a great value. I would definitely wait for that in my own opinion. I want it just a bit lower. Could I play a 10 cross? Sure, you cross the 10, good time. You cross the 10, good time. You cross the 10, good time. Consistently cross the 10, you're gonna at least break even or have a good time. So I mean, waiting for a percent for that is totally fine in my opinion. We do have a good value. I mean, it's a good one down here. Our side's at 42, that's fine. The stochastic, I mean, it could be better, but this is a definite bullish divergence kind of forming. See, bullish divergence kind of forming here. And of course, bulls and bears are tied, which means that eventually this could be an easy momentum play. Do you notice how I'm not, I'm not forcing these things. I'm not saying, oh, my narrative is this. I'm saying that if tomorrow MSM drops a good amount, 2%, great value purchase. If tomorrow or Tuesday, we see the green vortex line cross the red one, that'll go inside with the price crossing the 10 EMA line, showing us it's a momentum play. If that's the case, we then wait for a momentum play, right? We'll put a green box here. This crosses like that. And then your green line, crosses the red at the same exact time, which is a buy signal, it's a delayed, delayed indicator, but crosses, use a momentum play, put your stop loss at like 79.45 and you're good to go. That's how we do it here. We keep it, you know, real, keep it 55th Street, shout out to Crit Mac. But overall MSM here, a great purchase either way, but once again, I would bake into it a bit of patience and wait on it. Next is poor POR, that's what I am, JK, I'm okay. This is a really good looking uptrend. One, two, three, four. Not gonna spend much time on this one because earnings are today. I think there's a good hint this becomes a gamble and it gets stupid. I mean, shot up here, shot down here, shot down. But every single time what happens? It runs up, it runs down. It runs up, it runs down. It runs down, it runs up. It's always an overreaction. This was a massive overreaction, which gives me hope Closer to 49.70, 49.60, it's a really good value for a nice little kind of riskier play. Again, risking 1 or 2% to make 4 or 5%. To some, y'all may not be risky at all, but for me, it's all about risk management. I don't want to risk more than that, but I think 1 or 2% to make 10 or 11 on a huge move looks pretty good. Simple uptrend, it's a very easy play to understand. When it comes to our indicators, a 10 cross is fine, right? A 10 cross is good. You have nice 10 crosses. Even better is a 200 cross. Now, of course, you have plenty of fake outs. So be aware of that. You also have plenty of retests of the 200. So I don't think we're gonna be seeing like this kind of move tomorrow, but I think you may see a nice 200 break, retest, retest, take off here. Good value though, our side's low, stochastic gets low, bulls are low, rarely run them, bears are high. It's a great value purchase for a bullish stock. It's pushing higher highs, higher lows. We do lack a nice pattern. I have to see some kind of Simplicity, the next play is a great pattern. I'll show this as an example. It lacks that, but the bullish momentum in itself looks really good. POR, I'd watch list it if you're a beginner. Be very cautious with earnings, but I do love what I see. Next is TK, an absolute snack of a horizontal wedge. One hit, two hit, three hits. Looks really good. Now that's the three hit right there. Boom, right? What's great is that it has higher lows, and lower highs. It's really getting tight here. What I want to see is if the support holds. I think anywhere down here, it's looking pretty good. Give me 1% off, maybe 0.5% off. It's a fantastic value. Even here, it breaks down 3% I can get out. A good move is 15, five to one without a breakout. Very simple horizontal play. The POC is the highest volume on the total entire chart. This is gravitational. It wants us to hit this once again. When it comes to our indicators, before I turn them on, to further my thesis, my hypothesis that this is in fact a horizontal wedge is the 200, the 50 and 10 EMA line inside that triangle. What I wanna see is this. <laughs> all, all three EMA lines are in the middle of this triangle like that. If that happens, it's definitely a triangle. Let's check it out. That's so childish. Oh, look at that. There's your resistance trend. There's a supporting trend. And all three are directly in the middle, especially the 200. By golly, Batman, this is a horizontal wedge. So that means that we're break, we're playing for a breakout here. I want to see this bad boy have a nice move. It's consolidating. It makes sense that the EMA line are on the middle, the RSI is in the middle, the stochastics in the middle, and both these lines are pretty even here. All that showing is that a TK is not exactly a good value, but it's consolidating. It's coming together in the middle. Ugh. Why that's important is because most big moves in the market, ascensions, 
descensions come after consolidation. Triangles in themselves is consolidation. We have that here. TK, a low risk opportunity for a big move. I do love what I see. Lastly is USMV. It does give off vibes of POR. It's not really a pattern here. It's just a nice uptrend. The only pattern that I see here is a broadening wedge. That's important to know because we have a broadening wedge like a megaphone like this. All that implies is a new pattern is going to form soon. The reason is price is going to hug this line or that line, not touch the other one ever again and make a new pattern. So I think right down here, it's definitely favoring the supporting trend line, which means that this resistance trend line will be going up like this. And I don't think we're going to see a move like that. So I think we have a new pattern forming most likely up this horizontal line at $73. Anywhere between 73.50 and 73 is a fantastic deal. Great higher lows, great support, very easy play. I love what I see. 10 crosses again are fine for short term swings and day trading. You can wait for that if you want to. I think we have value. RSI is low, stochastic gets low. Bulls are right where you want them. Right, see how it's bottoming out, and bears are at the top. USMV is a great value purchase for a stock with great higher lows. I like it a lot, but just like the rest of these plays, I want it a bit lower or I'm wait till Tuesday. I'm just being transparent. I think tomorrow may be a great day. It may be a terrible day. Only idiots predict direction. I plan for both directions. And if it goes green tomorrow, I'm cool holding tractor supply. If it goes red, I'll cut for a tiny loss and I'll still beat the market. That's how you plan accordingly. With that being said, have a good rest of your guys today. I appreciate y'all being here. It means the world to me. I do have some new content ideas coming out now that my class is done. I want to make some animated videos because I want to be the next SpongeBob. No, I just have some really good ideas I can't do with me sitting here, so I got to make them myself. Uh, be on the lookout for that. I'm pretty excited. Have a good rest of your guys today. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks.